Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech and Windows 8.1 is finally out for developers and I've loaded it here on the Nokia Lumia icon. For comparison, I have an HTC Windows Phone 8 device and let's turn it on here and show you kind of probably the obvious difference that you're going to see right away and that is the start screen. So as you can see, Windows Phone 8.1 adds a background and they've done it in their own unique way. They've kind of done it where it's still kind of maintaining that tile layout and the live tiles, but as you move it, it has a parallax effect, which is really nice instead of just the static tiles. And depending on the device you have, this layout could be a little bit different, but you get the idea. It's got some really great backgrounds and, and it works really well. One of the other things that has notably been added is the notification center. So if we scroll down from the top here, or pull down from the top, you've got your notification or action center as Microsoft calls it. And you can see wireless, Bluetooth, airplane mode, rotation lock, all settings. And that's pretty much it. As you get notifications, more will come in obviously. And you get some email notifications, things like that. Now aside from the big changes as far as the obvious front of the screen changes, we also have a huge change with Cortana. Cortana is Microsoft's answer to Siri and Google Now and kind of combines both of them. And I'm going to set this aside for now so you can kind of get an idea what's different right here. After I set up Cortana, it asked me a few questions, asked me what my interests were, uh, asked me about some food, asked me about interests as far as news go. And you can see once I open Cortana, it says here are today's top headlines. Now we can ask it anything, we can type it in. And one of the other big changes is we kind of have swipe now or their version of swipe. And you'll see if I say Zolo Tech, let's see if it picks that up. And it doesn't. But we can type in whatever we want. And that will work or we can talk to it just like we can with Siri. So we'll go back and we'll ask it what the weather is right now. What's the weather right now? Right now, it's 66 and cloudy. You can see there's the weather, so it's got some of that. One of the really neat things Cortana does is allow you to create reminders that relate to people. Let me show you what I mean. Remind me. What's your reminder? Give him a screwdriver. Next time Chad Zolo calls. All right. You want to be reminded when you talk to Chad Zolo. Which one? Great. I'll remind you. You can see it in the notebook anytime. So that's one of the things you can do with Cortana. So next time my brother calls, it will pop up on the screen and tell me, to remind him to give him a screwdriver. So that's pretty nice and it's got a lot of really interesting features. So that's really one thing they've added that's much needed on Windows Phone to bring it up to par with the others. They've really changed some of the things such as your apps. So if you go into the apps now, you'll see the store has greatly changed. It looks a lot different and it's a little more streamlined and easier to find things according to Microsoft. They've also done some things such as separate music. They've created Xbox music now. Uh, the music hub is gone for the most part, in the traditional sense anyway, and it's all Xbox music. And they've done a lot of little changes throughout. The, the thing we wanted the most obviously though is probably the backgrounds notification center in a Siri-like application. Microsoft has added a burst mode to the camera. They've also added a lot of little behind the scenes features such as tweaks to email, things like that. And they've done a lot to really kind of speed things up, even though it was pretty fast to begin with. Now we'll do this and we'll go to my website here. And we have their version of swipe and it, it works really well. Uh, for the most part, I guess. So you can see here's my website and we can say Google and it gets that right away too. So that's pretty nice. That's built in now for those of you that like to use that. And we also have different ways of notifying people. So instead of sharing things the way we used to, we can go into photos and we can share and it goes to the app instead of going into its own share dialogue. What this does is allow us to 
be updated to the latest platforms and the way they do things. There's a lot of other little tweaks, but that's probably the main one. There's a lot of really neat wallpapers and themes, and it's it's pretty nice. Let me show you one of them at least. We've already got one, but I'll show you another one. You can go to Start plus Theme and choose a photo here. We'll choose one of the backgrounds. You can pick your own, of course. Uh, we'll just pick... Uh, how about this one, whatever this is, pick this, and now you can see it's in the background. It's got a really nice effect. Now, if you want to try this out yourself, you can. There is one thing you need to be aware of is once you update this between the time that it's out now and when your carrier updates it, it actually voids your warranty. So be careful of that. But what you need to do is download the preview for developers app and simply enable it. Once you enable this, you go into your settings and scroll all the way down to phone update and check for an update and it will be there and it'll take a little while to update and it adds all of these features. Now you can see some of the things have changed also here where they leave the battery and all that information on top. I'm not sure I like that, but only time will tell and they've made a lot of really nice improvements. So let me know what you think of Windows Phone 8.1 in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.